I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do. Uh, I was going to put that engine on a dolly and bring that broken one up to see where the spark plug lines up. But then I went out and I got this. And if we line these two up, look. This is a two piece. I don't know if I can fix that. But yeah, this hole is definitely over. Darn. So even if I was able to repair this, it's still not going to line up with a spark plug. So I think I'm going to have to go with my original plan of just putting new plugs in it. And then if the plugs ever need to be changed, you're just going to have to take the motor loose to replace them. So uh, I'm not quite sure why this is actually in two different areas for basically the same tractor. I went out and looked at my roper, and the Onan spark plug is right here. So, and I do have it lined up with the bolt holes that that's supposed to go in. So, yeah, that's that's all I'm going to be able to do is just go with the uh, go with the original plan. And just put it back on because yeah, when I flipped it around. It almost puts the hole in the right spot, but then I lose that much battery tray. So, <sighs> different designs. I mean, even for the same uh, 16T, there's two different styles here. This is a two piece, that's a one piece, and the holes are in different locations. Without putting both engines back up here, and I don't, I don't have the original engine for this. Um, I traded it back in for uh, the two parts tractors, so I'm not able to compare with that. I spent the better part of a day putting, taking this apart. I thought it needed to be flipped around that ain't going to work so we're going to have to live with the spark plug being up close uh, the only progress I made here was I added the fuel pump so thought about working on the tail light and the more I look at this one which is in pretty good shape um, I've been rummaging around Basically trying to find what I did with the rubber bumpers for the gas tank bracket So in my rummaging around I found this one And what I'm thinking about doing is buying an LED light and converting this one to LED and just putting this one away Also while rummaging around this is the alternator connector and i found the other end that'll plug into that i also found my diodes um this was a attempt to make i don't know what i tried there um, but this connector has a story basically when i was playing around with lead lights i needed the 28 volt ac so what i did was this plugs into the stator and then i got a 28 volt tap and then this goes back to the charge wire. Um, I don't know if I want to unmodify that. We may just use it as is, but if not, uh, that one's broke. I don't have any more of these type connectors. So, uh, yeah, we may just tape that up out of sight because I really don't want to unmodify that. Yeah, I thought I'd take a look at the start with the throttle cable first. Uh, I bought a universal one. I actually bought two of these 
because I need to replace the one on red also. So I thought I'd go ahead and do this one first. So I've already pulled the uh, knob off of this. And I want to take a look at these other two to see if they're any better shape. I can see that one's bent there. This one... Eh... I don't know. This one looks cleaner. We'll probably go with this one. But yeah, I'm, I'm a little leery on cutting this cable because we've done so many different design, found so many different design issues. And I'm thinking I should really wait until I've got the engine in place just to verify the length. Uh, let me do that. I can do that now. Well, the throttle and choke control is going to prove interesting, at the least. I've got two places I can hook the throttle control up. So basically, we've got this place here, which means the throttle cable is going to have to wrap around and go over to there. Um, I doubt if it would work... It's a possibility that it would wrap that way. Then the other option we have for throttle. Is to get this off here first. We'll bring you back. So the other option for throttle is here. It would pull this way. And then this would have to. Yeah, it would have to go through here. That looks like how they would have had it set up. So, let's see. Are we going to have enough cable here? Yep. All right, so that's how they would have had this set up using this one. I've always used this one, so, yeah. Let me uh, see about choke now. Well, I think I got control figured out. So this is a throttle cable and it makes a swooping curve and it comes out right there. And then this is the choke cable. It makes a swooping curve and the choke cable is right there, but there's the end. This is actually not a throttle cable. Choke cable is a little bit longer but I believe that's how these cables are going to hook up. So, uh, yeah, and, and both these cables actually move, so I'm going to save on these. Well, if I'm going to use this position, I need to run a tap through there. So I'm just basically hand tapping it. And luckily, the uh, $1 yard sale fine of these mini taps, I had one in there that fits it. So yeah, <laughs> pays to go to yard sales sometime. Took a little bit of doing, but I was able to run that tap all the way through. I think it just had a combination of paint and gunk and whatnot in there. So, yeah, we got good threads in there now. I'll hit it with some brake clean, rinse it out, because this whole engine is going to get painted again. Yeah, we got plenty of thread in there.